What was the first Tour de France? The first Tour de France was a cycling race that took place in 1903. It was organized by newspaper publisher Henri Desgrange and had only one stage. The winner of the first Tour de France, Maurice Guerin, won his prize of 25,000 francs, the equivalent to $2,500 at the time. The second Tour de France was organized in 1905 by Henri Desgrange and was won by Lucien Petit Breton. Fifty-seven riders started the race, which was divided into nine stages. The tours were originally raced in an omnium event over several weeks. The Tour de France was part of the first five-day cycling race over a distance of 3,600 kilometers. 1903-1914, the Tour de France was created as a five-stage race that was originally established to promote cycling in the region. Held over six days, it raced 3,600 kilometers. 1914-1919, after World War I, the race became a four-stage event as part of Europe's return to racing but remained at 3, 600 kilometers. 1919-1925, the race remained at 3,600 kilometers until 1920 when it was extended to 5,400 kilometers and renamed the Grand Prix des Nations. 1925-1942, the Tour de France continued to compete as a five-stage race with the exception of 1927. When it was shortened from five stages down to four, following a disastrous accident during the sixth stage. 1942-1947, the Tour was shortened again with the addition of a sixth stage in 1942, which became the race's longest after World War II. 1947-1956, after the war, the race remained at its six-stage format with an overall length of 5,500 kilometers, 3,600 miles. The route also included two time trials and two rest days. 1956 to 1960, the tour was expanded for the first time to 7,000 kilometers, 4,300 miles, with two rest days and the introduction of a seventh stage. 1960 to 1962, after being cancelled in 1960 due to the death of Belgian rider Tom Simpson. There were some significant changes made before returning in 1961 with an 8th stage and 9th stage. 1961-1975, with the exception of 1967, there was an individual time trial in every stage. 1975-1983, the tour was reduced to 8,000 km, 4,970 miles, with one rest day and one individual time trial per stage. 1983 to 1989, the overall route distance stayed at 8,000 kilometers with two rest days and a time trial per stage. 1989 to 1992, the tour was reduced to 7,000 kilometers, 4,400 miles, and there were three rest days with one time trial per stage. 1992 to 1995, there was an individual time trial in every stage and the overall distance was set at 7,000 km. 1995-2005, with the exception of 2004, there was one individual time trial in every stage and the overall distance was set at 6,600 km, 4,166 miles. How the first Tour de France was made The first Tour de France was held in 1903 and the race was organized by newspaper publisher Henri Desgrange. The Tour de France is a bicycle race that has been held every year since 1903. The race covers 3,500 kilometers, 2,200 miles, through France and is considered one of the five most important cycling competitions in the world. The first Tour de France was an eight-stage race with no time checkpoints. The winner, a Belgian by the name of Fernand Gabriel, completed the course in less than 110 hours. There are three types of bicycle riders that compete in the Tour de France. Those who ride road bicycles and compete for flat stages. Those who ride mountain bikes and compete on the mountain stages. Those who ride a cyclocross bicycle and compete in the cyclocross events. Throughout history there have been many famous bicyclists, some of them are already mentioned, but there are still others too. Vuelta a España winner Miguel Indurain, Tour de France champion Eddie Merckx, Tour of Flanders Victor Tom Boonen and cycling world champion Lance Armstrong. There are also many famous bicycle manufacturers, Peugeot, IAM Cycling, Orbi and Cannondale among them. In the spring of 1868 an American named James Michaud patented a bicycle with a single large gear via a simple change in the shape of the rear hub. 
bicycles have been used for transportation since at least the 1830s. It's hard to know who made the first one, but it was probably Erich von Holst, an inventor and military officer in Prussia who took out a patent in 1839. And, just a few years later, a man named Pierre Michaud took out his own patent for a bicycle that featured hand brakes on the wheel and was propelled by pedals. As of 1878, Michaud was allowed to sell the bicycle in France and Europe, but not in America. France is credited with being one of the first two countries to produce and use a bicycle. The bike was also used during World War I, World War II, Vietnam, and the Civil Rights Movement. Today, there are about 1 billion bicycles in the world. Okay, so this bike was created in 1818. What does it do? In order to operate a bicycle, one must pedal the pedals with their feet. This helps turn the cranks and make the wheels spin. One of the most important parts of a bicycle is the chain. This is where all the gears are located, and it links an internal combustion engine to a set of wheels that make it easier to turn when you're pedaling. With today's technology, Bicycles usually have either a single chain or three chains. How did the Tour de France start and how did it evolve? The Tour de France is one of the most popular and prestigious sporting event in the world. The Tour de France is a bicycle race that covers thousands of kilometers from Paris to the south of France. Unsafe conditions, such as rain and high winds, can force the race to be shortened. The Tour de France has been won by many cyclists, including Eddie Merckx, Lance Armstrong, and Bernard Hinault and each rider must have a support team that feeds, waters and restrains them during the stage. It was first organized in 1903 to increase sales of newspaper advertising. The sport is governed by the Union Cyclist International, the governing body for international competitive cycling. These are the timeline of the Tour of France and the winners. 1. The Tour de France started a single-day race, which was held on July 5, 1903. 2. The first winner of the Tour de France was a French rider, Léon Gerget. 3. In the first Tour de France, the riders would wear their own clothes and buy a new one for each stage of the race. 4. Most cyclists wear padded cycling shorts and a helmet to help protect their head in case of a fall. 5. The Tour de France has been televised live since the 1960s. And is one of the world's most watched sporting events, with an estimated 715 million people around the world watching it in 2005. 6. By 2012, the Tour de France had been broadcast live in over 200 countries. 7. The first official winner of the Tour de France was Gaspard Fauré, a French cyclist, in 1903. 8. Britain's Chris Froome has won four Tours de France, more than any other rider. 9. The Tour de France has been won by 33 different riders from 11 different countries. 10. Jacques Anquetil, a Frenchman, is the only rider to win the Tour de France five times, in 1951, 1953, 1955, 1957, and 1959. Thank you for watching the Tour de France which is the most competitive cycling sport in the world, subscribe please.